We're doing a cooking video for you today, so we bringing y'all in our kitchen with us. This is something that myself, as well as my husband, love. We really enjoy cooking together. So today on the menu, babe, you want to let them know what's going on? Well, I'm Don, but today I'm Chef Don. <laughs> today on the menu, we have pork chop, center cut pork chop. Already been washed and cleaned. Everything's been already washed. You got your fresh green, collard greens, and then you got uh, jumbo potatoes. Yes, which we will be baking. Uh, baked potatoes. And also we have some you sweet some wine sweet rolls. rolls. Okay. I don't know why, but let me know if I'm the only one that have to eat and have a piece of bread with my meal, each meal. First, I guess we will start with getting the baked potatoes in the oven. And the first rule in the kitchen, of course. We already washed our hands, but we're gonna wash our hands again. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash mine. I'm gonna go ahead and wash mine out <laughs> there. And then we'll get started. And I have already preheated the oven to 350 degrees. That's what I cook uh, my baked potatoes on. Get my tongs. Let's see, go. And what I'll be doing is just spinning my potatoes around within my butter. Um, but I probably wouldn't have yes, please. Ain't nothing like some butter. All right, so while she's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the process and get these pork chops seasoned. So I just lay them out, you know, about four at a time. As far as the seasoning, we got uh, garlic powder, pepper, seasoned salt, and that's about it. You don't gotta put too much seasoning on that thing now. You know? And we're gonna try to get both sides nice and nice and light. And as y'all see. Excuse my butter. I guess because my potato a little cold, my butter just got hard a little bit. That's how I poured it in there, but as you can see, I just put it in the runner's wrap and wrap it up. All right, y'all. So we have our baked potatoes all panned up, wrapped up, and ready to go in the oven. So I'll be putting those in now. Um, a preheated oven of 350. And I know that those cook, honestly, I'm not even going to tell no tale. I don't have a time frame that I let them cook for, but I usually just take a fork and stick it through. Sometimes I take a butter knife and stick it, and if it goes through well, all of them, real nice and easy, then they're done. <laughs> I, would say, I would say about an hour. Over here, we got our canola oil heating up. And this is going to be the pot that our collard greens will be going in. And I'm just sitting those out for the rolls to kind of like defrost a little bit. I like this brand. Let me check it out for y'all. I put the bag over here on the table. So it's Sister Schubert's. If anybody else knows about this brand bread lover love bread love <laughs> they bread. were not staying in the store not a chance anybody else like bread let us know like what kind of bread y'all like 
I'm a fan of Pillsbury Biscuits. Love, love, love Pillsbury Biscuits. Um, another thing, of course, Pillsbury Croissants and Cornbread. My favorite mm. meal of all time is a piece of fried lake trout, fried potatoes with onions and green peppers, with some collard greens or some green beans, with a piece of cornbread, honey oh. cornbread, baby. Woo! Oh, I wish this food honey. <laughs> Let us know what's y'all favorite meals down there in those comments. Cause cooking makes our household happy, of course. <laughs> All right, guys, so now Chef Don, <laughs> he over there breading up his pork chops, getting those ready to drop in the hot grease because the grease is now ready. And if you can see over here, we do like crushed green peppers and onions in our collard greens. We didn't used to eat green peppers in our collard greens, but... We just said, let's give it a try. We love green peppers, y'all. We gave it a try, and it was the bomb. Give it a try. I mean, you won't be upset. So, he ready to drop those. This in a cut pork chop. Simmering it, got a little boil, so now I'm ready to add my fresh, clean collars. And my pot's so big, I can add all my collars in one. I'm just going to take my spoon and empty the rest of my collars in there. Alright, put that in the sink. Then as I say it, y'all, you're going to want to still season your green. Right, so again, same seasonings, my garlic pepper. I'm, I'm sorry, my garlic powder. Do a little sprinkle over that. Drop it in pork chops, put it in the back. Ooh, woo. I'm ready, I'm excited. Got my black pepper. And then I got my Lowry seasoning salt. I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of that. Not too much. I'm going to top back on that. And there's my green. They're going to be starting to cook now. They're going to be... Alright, y'all. So we're about to take the first pork chop out of the grease. Here it comes. Right. Oh, right. uh oh, they smelling good, looking good. They probably ain't feeling good because they grease hot. <laughs> <laughs> right, spring, yeah. Uh oh, let's Boy, see. Let's good, see. Here, yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay, I see you. I see you, chef. I don't know about y'all, but I'm a taste test. All right, y'all, so our collard greens are looking good. I took the lid off so that we can give it a little stare. And they're looking good. They're coming along. They are almost done. So if y'all can see those good onions in there, all the good seasoned juices, all that good stuff. And green pepper in there. Woo! Tell you one thing the smell of food just the sound of food cooking it makes me excited we got our sweet hawaiian yeast rolls and i'm about to slide these in the oven our potatoes are still cooking but i'm about to go ahead and put these in the oven as well so they can be done by the time all the food is done yeah so our collard greens are finally finished they're all well done and looking good. Let me put it in there for y'all. Y'all see that? Let me give it a little stir so y'all can see what's going on. A little action there. Give it a little stir. I don't like 
like too much juice in my greens. I mean, you know, some people might like a little bit of juice, but I don't like that much juice. They looking good. Okay, baby. Pretty good, baby. <laughs> Y'all need some, I'm telling you. All right, guys. So, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We really, really appreciate you all for watching this video. We're going to be back again with another video for you all very, very soon. We're trying to do videos dropping weekly. So please stay tuned. Turn on your post notifications so that you can know when we post. We thank you again for tuning in to our YouTube video. And don't forget to subscribe. We truly appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.